C60 is one of the most interesting molecules that you may never have heard of. The scientists that discovered it originally thought it would be incredibly toxic to the body as the molecular structure resembles a toxin called benzene. Yet when they apply it to animals such as mice, they were found to live up to 90% longer. And that was before they decided to end the trial. This molecule works by penetrating into cells and protecting them, acting as as a powerful antioxidant buffer. Basically, it helps protect cells and protect organs and protect the body against the ravages of living, of extreme situations, and helping maintain homeostasis despite chaos. The molecule is small enough to penetrate mitochondria where it's able to improve their health and the energy generation process. It's able to improve athletic performance and especially recovery and reduce some of the muscle damage that comes along with it without impairing the hormetic beneficial gains. It's notable for having a profound effect on the skin, the hair, probably nails as well. But where it really shines is in any of the extreme environments. When exposed to radiation, when exposed to non-native, non-ionizing radiation, such as Wi-Fi or 5G, or really whenever your body produces more reactive oxygen species, ROS. So post-TBI or as a prophylactic, I would certainly consider loading up on C60. But at the same time, this is one of those supplements that you should be very careful with because most of it is produced as an industrial waste product, meaning it's not very pure and actually could be carcinogenic because of the solvents and other contaminants that are found within it when you're creating it for industrial applications. When the purity doesn't really matter that much, most of the unscrupulous companies in the space will buy the really cheap industrial C60 and reuse that. And if you're consuming those kinds of products, you're not gonna be getting the benefits, you'll probably just be experiencing the side effects. So what I like to do is look for a company that uses a form that's intended for human consumption called E. ESS60. That's, in my opinion, the gold standard. It's what they use in some of the clinical trials. And if you can find a product that contains ESS60, you're golden. Or one of my go tos is My Vital C. Another one I like that is not ESS60 but is still pure is called C60 Purple Power. When you're looking at products, you wanna make sure that they are solvent free, that they're highly pure, at least 99.95% .95 pure, or ideally 99.99, that the C60 comes in dark bottles, that they actually let you know that the products in olive oil have the highest concentration of C60, nothing you can do about it. Olive oil based C60 is always the strongest. And then after that is avocado oil, and then MCT oil is the weakest among those three. That's just because of the maximum amount of C60 you can dissolve into those three different types of liquids is set. I believe the olive oil based C60 is more than twice as concentrated as the MCT oil version. And that's if they're doing everything properly. So if you really wanna experience this, you're gonna to wanna to choose the olive oil based C60. If you've used C60, drop a comment below and let me know the company you used, which product and how it went for you.